hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of the Durandan playthrough as we continue under the young King Eric the Tenth, Durandan, who has control of the Riverlands and the Stormlands. Now, we are going to continue. And when Maria Stark dies, we for some reason, I suppose because he was my... Oh, it's my mother, that's why. We get a claim on the Kingdom of the North, a weak claim. And I'm going to try and press this claim, because at the moment, King Byam is very weak. So what I'm going to do first is have a feast, ensure my vassals all enjoy some joyous feasting, and then we will go to war. I'm going to make it a good feast as well. We have gained the fat trait, which is slightly unfortunate. Couple of people not turning up, which is a shame. Uh, and I do have some options in the Dornish regions as well. We can claim the Great Desert. It's not that great a uh, county, but it is something for us. Storm's End is all good. Uh, you wish to be Hand of the King, Hubert. Go away. Everyone, welcome to the feast. Uh, we need a new hand. To be fair, there isn't actually anyone good. So, Lyman, you can stay on. Torrance Bolling has used his attendance, and he wants... Rosilla arrested. Let's try and have her arrested. Sadly not. Let's go and send my marshal out to deal with some rebels. Septon Monarch has presented a petition to the court claiming that the Sept was forced to pay a tax by a sheriff, and this is despite their bills of exemption. So we gain some piety. Don't really want that. I would rather just keep the cash. Everyone enjoys the good food. And Lady Alana must be arrested. Well, she's a high lady, so I don't want that. She's clearly not guilty. I do lose some prestige for doing that, but that's fine. Um, we get Entertaining Entertainment, which gives us a plus one, plus two general opinion, which is great. That's an additional bonus on top of when the feast actually finishes, so we should be on well... A pretty awesome result here. Plus two, plus five vassal opinion. Takes us to 48k troops. And what have we got in recovery? We do need a little bit of time to recover. So let's uh, let's give that time to recover. At the moment he's fighting a war with last half. So we can... Uh, Oh, we've gained the arbitrary trait, which is not so good. After the wedding feast, Princess Milera and I ended up in a room with a big bed in the middle of the room. Despite the cider and the obvious attraction between us, it suddenly felt a bit awkward being alone together. Uh, no, I love my wife. We are going to continue to pursue a good relationship with our wife. Crown Loyalist Faction is fairly decent. What are we at for troop count at the moment? 51k. It's better than it was. We are allies with the Rock as well, so I can bring them into the war should I choose to, and I probably will to be honest. They have got the Valyrian Steel Sword, Bright Raw. That's the one thing that we don't have, which would be nice to get, is a Valyrian Steel Sword for us. Lord of Seaguard will be my new Master of Laws. Uh, we're going to improve relations with the Lord of Tarth. Uh, 
Narbut, my brother, is becoming fairly good at diplomacy. So let's keep him on that path. Really? You can't have anyone... Ah, okay, I think I misclicked. Let's give him to the Lord of Seaguard. Two people have eloped. A Baratheon and a Maid Hand. I'll accept it, it's fine. So, troop count wise, we are at. What are we at now? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Apologies for the split in the video. We got kicked out of the game for some reason. But we are going to carry on. We uh, still have that claim, so we are going to hit the north whilst we can. Also going to call in our allies. Going to summon the local levies. And form up our armies. So we'll get one formed at Harren Hall. Uh, and I guess the rest can form at uh, Blackwater Bay. Why not? You guys are moving as well. Everybody move. Excellent. So, Butterwill has not answered the call. The Lannisters are going to go ahead and help us out, which is great news indeed. They will provide another ample 30,000 troops to the campaign. Not that they'll be needed, but uh, nevertheless. Corella Stark is currently under my control, and her relative King Benjamin Stark. Uh, we could have her arrested, but she's married to my uncle. Not that I really care. Imprison her. So, she's imprisoned. Can we get a ransom for her, maybe? Can exile her, and we'll get a tiny bit of gold, but not a great deal. I just want to check plots to make sure nothing going on against us. No, we look to be fine. That's excellent. Um, my rival, Hubert Lenderley, has a desire to get married. Well, if he's my rival, then no. I won't give you permission. You shall stay celibate. Keep yourself celibate. Um, young Roland, Maidhand, and my cousin have got married, which is kind of annoying, but... Sure, okay. Okay, so we've got one troop here which we will make the chief army and we will start getting you to head towards the neck if Narbut is nowhere to be seen you can always find him in the courtyard playing with his sword and practicing his sword fighting with older men so he is trying to get trained and he's gained the trained fighter he did get wounded though let's give him oh yeah we can take him on as a squire and let's also give him a guardian that's efficient in both martial and diplomacy. Barthagon's pretty good. Leicester's a Westerman, though. Mm. I think Leicester's the best shout. He's the most well-rounded. So we'll go ahead and give Leicester the job. Second army will be led by a Barthagun, Robin, and young Barth. Um, don't really care who you marry. So you guys can just start sieging as well. My son and heir is particularly good at stewardship, so let's keep that going. Who's he being educated by? It's the Lyman. Okay, I'm happy with that. Good diplomacy, good stewardship. Excellent. You want me to ask Ryman of Willowswood to stand down? 
You do give me more troops. We'll ask. And he has accepted. And some lords of the north are actually uh, supporting us here. Which is excellent to see. We've got d decent troops in reserve, should they be needed. We'll put them on the border by the twins, but I don't think they'll be needed. Any Lannisters already up there? Nope, but the Mormons are charging on in. I've got some positions, Master of Laws open, but we'll leave that for... Oh, we don't have a Paramount, actually. Let's give it to Seaguard. And we'll improve relations with Tarth for now. Then these guys can just assault. Start getting us a little bit of cash. That would be grand. Head on up to Whitford. You boys are nearly at Grey Waters Watch, so that will be a bit more gold for us as well. For a high lordship, actually, not very, uh, not very strong. Send the family to my dungeon. We'll see if we can get some ransom for the family. That's uh, Grey Water Watch done. Prisoners, not a soul can be ransomed, unfortunately. You want to be a commander instead of Jorah, go away. I know he's good, but I can't have your uh, your silliness taking on over, I'm afraid. Let's keep the siege and ransacking of the north going. I uh, can even go up to the king's course now. Might just send my other troops to reinforce. These guys are going to take out Moat Caitlin, which is looking a little bit dishevelled itself. King's Course actually has decent uh, levy. See if you can take on his troops. We're going to lose the humble trait here after I'm pretty great after all. We are also going to take a penalty if we catch these guys, which looks like we're going to. Yeah. And commander-wise, immensely superior. Absolutely crushed the northern army there. And I think we go straight for Winterfell. Get it done. Bring the north into our kingdom. Now, what's it going to take? Uh, it only takes 6,000, 6, so we should be fine. Meanwhile, Storm's End looking in good shape. We need to save up for the extra castle town. Financially, we're a little bit behind. I would like to be doing better. But still sieging out Moat Kalen. Not going to be giving out gold of that amount. That's too much. I know we've got the gold, but it's still too much to give out. Victory at the Children's Tower. We are at 92%. Uh, possibly go siege White Knife then. Might get a little bit more from them. And looks like all of the Northern Lords want to join me. The Barrelands have just joined. Lots are unhappy with the rule by a Northern Lord. And what I might do is destroy the Kingdom of the North and make a Lord Paramount. Yeah, they're literally all joining us now. Don't think it's uh, too long left for the Starks here. I would like to try and capture him. Does he get imprisoned if we win this? 
because I can take his Valyrian steel sword if he does. Enforce demands. I just gain the Kingdom of the North, so he won't actually become imprisoned. So it would be good to continue the Siege of Winterfell. And actually, I think it would be good to sack Winterfell itself. If we can. Gonna take us quite some time, though. But we've got plenty of lands left to loot in the interim period. Ah, it's going to take too long, isn't it? Well, we'll loot this. We will take the north and accept it into our kingdom. And we did actually get the treasury, so we get the crown of winter and the crown of winter. I would like ice from you. You don't actually have ice though. So we got a couple of crowns. So actually, all in all, not that bad. Let's wait for the war to all end. War has been won, our enemy's armies have been crushed, and the loyalist forces have been defeated. Lord Byron Stark, who is the one we defeated, Byam, sorry, has been brought before you to hear judgment. So we can judge his family justly. Or have them on pikes. Let's judge the family justly. All hail his grace, Eric of the House Durandon, tenth of his name, Storm King in the North, Storm King of Winter, and the First Men, Lord of Storm's End, and Protector of the Realm. Titer, she can go. Uh, he, however, will go to the dungeon. I can actually take all of Winterfell, but it will change my tyranny. Who's his heir? Prince Jorah the Wolf. Throw him in the dungeon. And... Can we disband the troops here? No, they're going to need to go back home. Okay. Go on, back home. Barrelands, will you be uh, swearing fealty here? Or what's, what's going to go on? You can stay where you are. Do I take the engines of war? Actually, it does increase damage and siege. So, yeah, I don't see why not. Can he afford the ransom? He can't afford the ransom. He is of the Stark bloodline. Now what happens if I do this? Destroy it. But they'll all be upset. With minus 40 opinion. Wow. Let's... 800 prestige. Oof. It's quite a lot. Let me know in the comments. What do you think we should do? Destroy it and make it a paramount seed? Because that's my thinking at the moment. So these wars have subsided. Reappoint the old council. Can you boys now get disbanded? Yes, you can. Good. So Winterfell remains with a Stark, but apart from that, the North is now ours. Uh, our troop count though is extremely low, not really sure why, but uh, probably because it's not registered that we gave all the troops back. We are over the vassal limit, so I do think we do need to create a paramountcy here. And the North would make sense, because they follow an entirely different religion. I think we destroy it. But let me know in the comments your thoughts. And in the meantime, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that red button to subscribe and help support the channel. We will bring the rest of these uh, areas of the north into our lands next episode. And I will see you all in the next episode. Hello.